Today, we're in the cafeteria at Lawhorn Elementary, and we're obviously talking about food. And with me is Lynn Rogers, the director of food for the Tupelo Public School District. And Lynn, you've got 13 schools that you are in charge of to make sure everyone is fed properly and, and ready to embrace the day from breakfast to lunch. Just take us through your day and what all you have to do to get every cafeteria ready for the day. Well, first we have to have really good managers. And we've got some really great managers that are out there managing our sites and, and we have some really wonderful cafeteria staff that are working with them to prepare the meals. And so we have uh, breakfast starting every morning around 7.15 in all of our schools. And um, they have uh, menus that they have to go by and uh, prepare every day. We offer hot and cold breakfast. Okay. And then they also, uh, after breakfast, they're getting um, everything prepared for lunch. And they are preparing lunch meals, of which, you know, we offer uh, many choices in those lunch meals. So what time do your cafeteria staff, what time every morning are they, are they arriving to work to prepare for, for the students? Most of our cafeteria is open between 6 and 6.30. Oh wow, so they're here early in the morning. They're here early because uh, we're preparing hot breakfast and to have that breakfast ready for 7.15, then they have quite a few things that they have to um, put together and then of course bake and, and get their lines set up so that they're ready whenever students come in because we also you know cashier those students and so we have to have everything ready for them and that includes their hot breakfast, their cold breakfast and all the choices. So let's talk about numbers. What would you say across the district at all the schools for breakfast, how many are you feeding, and then how many for lunch? Uh, basically for breakfast, we're serving somewhere between uh, 2,000 and 2,500 oh, wow. um, students for breakfast. Um, and we would love to serve more. Uh, we think we have the very best value in town for breakfast. Parents can uh, have their child eat breakfast at school for a dollar. Oh wow, yes, that's a good deal. <laughs> and, and they get all five items um, that we offer on the menu. So that includes their milk, that includes a fruit, a juice, and then they also get um, their hot breakfast choices, which are two, or they get their cold breakfast choices, which are two. So they get a total of five items, all for a dollar. Now let's talk about the menu itself. How far in advance is the menu planned? Who decides what the menu is going to be every day? Well, as far as the menu is concerned, uh, we are uh, to have our menus planned a month in mm -hmm. advance. Okay. And uh, as far as the menu uh, planning is concerned, I am the one who works on the menus, but I have to use uh, several resources to have those menus prepared according to the rules and regulations of the National School Lunch Program. And then we also have to um, get information from our managers as to what students are liking and not liking so that um, we prepare menus that children will want to come in and have with us. Gotcha. You have been with the school district for over 20 years, so mm -hmm. you've seen a lot of changes with preparation and guidelines. What's one of the biggest changes that, that you've seen? Um, probably has been the whole grain and the inclusion of uh, more fresh fruits and vegetables. When I first started um, in school, um, meal business. Uh, we were not serving but one fruit and one vegetable as part of the meal and now then our students get two fruits and two vegetables uh, in our school district and so that is you know increased the amount of fruits and vegetables that a student is getting as well as now we have to have at least 50 percent of our grains have to be whole. Okay. And so students are uh, getting uh, an opportunity to have whole grain um, buns as far as sandwiches, and they're also getting whole grain rolls, they're getting whole grain pasta, and that is taken over, you know, a period of time, that's 50% for the week. You talked about the favorites that the students have. What's, what's one of the favorite foods that uh, our, our students always rave about? Well, I would probably say it's our stromboli at the high school. Oh, okay. Um, in that particular item, we're using uh, ham and cheese, and we're putting it into a pizza dough 
Um, and then we're uh, using pizza sauce, we bake it. We also include pepperoni slices in that. And I would say probably for our lower grains, it's probably when we have, um, when we have spaghetti. Okay. They really love our uh, spaghetti. And um, probably for middle school, I would probably say is somewhere um, a toss between um, pizza. Can't wait for the pizza to come into play. I figured <laughs> that would be make the list somehow. <laughs> pizza and some of our other um, choices that are fast food uh, of sorts. You know, they they change a little bit from um, the elementary grades as they progress in the school system with their choices. Well, so. now I'm hungry and I can smell the food that's being prepped in the back. So what's on today's menu? Oh, today's menu, we are uh, having barbecue meatballs. Oh, you are? Great. And we're also offering a grilled chicken sandwich. And with that grilled chicken sandwich, they can choose their choice of sauces. So we have a sriracha sauce, we have a teriyaki sauce, and we have a barbecue sauce. We've so, come a long way from when I was in school. We, we didn't get choices <laughs> like that. That's fantastic. We have a super green salad today that we're offering as one of our fresh vegetable choices. We have uh, fresh broccoli and fresh broccoli and dip. And we also have uh, mac and cheese. It's another big hit. Yes, it's a big favorite with our students, and so uh, we offer that. Of course, it is um, a whole grain um, product that we are uh, offering, so uh, we have that along with a whole grain Texas toast. So, you know, we're able to offer these choices and work in some healthy alternatives, you know, healthy choices for students to be able to make their meal. So we hope that our parents will uh, want to have our students to participate. Well, I can tell you just in the last five, 10 minutes, I, I've learned how healthy our meals are and rest assured parents, your children are getting fed very well in the Tupelo Public School District. For your story, our purpose in one heartbeat, I'm Greg Ellis and Ms. Rogers, thank you so much for joining us as we thank talk you. about food today. Thank you.